Hello friends, followers and subscribers. So, very big news this morning from the Fly-By-Wire team and that is that as of later today, third-party liveries designed and created for the default Airbus A320 in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 will no longer be working with the, their aircraft, their A320 NX mod. This is only affecting at the moment the developer versions and the experimental versions. There is a new stable build 0.6.0 on its way and that will also be affected uh, when that is released. So why has the Fire by Wire team done this? Well, let's have a little look, shall we? Until now, the Airbus A320NX has been a mod. It, all it did was it added lines of code to the default Airbus A320 in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 uh, as is a mod. It modified the uh, default aircraft but now the A320NX mod is becoming much more complicated and thanks to the hard work of the fly by wire team much much better. It's now becoming a standalone aircraft and with that it's becoming free from all the bugs that the default Airbus A320 has in it. This is a really exciting prospect, the fact that the A320NX will become just like any other standalone aircraft not affiliated with the uh, with the default aircraft um, because it means as you know whenever we get simulator updates when Azobo Microsoft update the simulator we always have uh, the uh, few issues a few hours afterwards and they they break the A320NX mod well as the A320NX is now going to be a standalone aircraft hopefully these updates won't uh, won't affect it quite as much and it's also a very important step in the process to the A320NX finally being available in the marketplace within the uh, within the simulator now i know what you're thinking the A320NX coming into the marketplace is it still going to be free yes Yes, it is. The A320NX will still be a free aircraft. No longer a free mod, but a free aircraft. So, as this is going to be a brand new standalone aircraft from today, this aircraft requires its own liveries. No longer can it use the A320NX default liveries that have been created for... Uh, for the default version in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. So I'm pretty certain that we will start to see, as soon as this is released later today, I'm very certain that we will start to see A320NX specific liveries appearing on sites like uh, flightsim.to and things like that. And I'm sure third party uh, livery creators will be well on with that as, uh, as soon as they can uh, can update their aircraft and uh, start to play with that. But what if, like me, you actually want to keep using your current liveries? Obviously, I've got the uh, EasyJet Simpilot custom livery, which we're uh, looking at here. And if you followed recent streams, you'll see that we've been flying our beautiful Easter livery as well. Well, the only thing you can do to ensure that you can continue to use your liveries in the A320 NX mod is exactly that. You must still use the mod and not the new standalone aircraft. And there's only one way to do that, and that is do not update your aircraft. At the moment, certainly until we get either new liveries for the A320NX specific aircraft or until they release their new installer, which I'll tell you about in a moment, do not update either the development or experimental version. The stable version should still work until they update that to the new version, which is 0.6.0 to be released in uh, a few days. Now, this installer is going to get an update pretty soon, maybe within a week or two, but we don't like to hold the fly-by-wire team accountable on uh, dates. It'll come when it's good and ready. So the new installer version will be released soon and it will have a built-in livery converter which is very important, and it means all your liveries, once converted, will work with the new A320NX aircraft. But until then, it will be down to third-party developers to create new liveries for the A320NX aircraft, no longer an A320NX mod. As I've just said, once again, if you want to continue using your liveries, do not update either the development or the experimental version 
for a, a week or so until the new installer is released and it has the livery converter built in. So, head, hats off to the Flyball IT for once again getting their uh, getting their aircraft even more developed and becoming a standalone aircraft. The A320NX is now no longer a mod, it's becoming its own own aircraft and as you can see here this is still an old version which thankfully I downloaded yesterday so I won't be updating again until we either get a new livery created for the A320NX aircraft or the new installer is released with the new livery converter. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. And uh, if you could also consider subscribing to the channel if you found the video useful, then please do so. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye bye for now.